What's up everyone for the Winitachi here, you know what it is. Thank you all very much for tuning in. So as you guys know, BlizzCon 2018 is just around the corner and as you guys also know, I like to give you guys information and details on what occurs during this BlizzCon event every single year. And uh, without further ado, I will be going into details on all the games and that type of stuff. Uh, we got uh, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, Starcraft, Diablo, anything else that gets released uh, will be announced on my YouTube channel. Uh, and all the complete details that happen for those individual games in their own separate video uh, from the whole BlizzCon weekend will be released just after BlizzCon ends. So I have and collected all the details in one go. Um, so other than that, we're now uh, pre-BlizzCon right now. And tons of videos are getting released. So we got a virtual ticket goodies. Uh, we've got um, basically other types of goodies that you can get from purchasing a ticket uh, or getting a virtual ticket. And uh, so much more. So without further ado, in this video, as you can tell based off of the title, uh, we're going to be going over World of Warcraft and the news that they've already released us in this video. Um, I'm going to watch the video with you guys, maybe a little bit of a reaction here and there. Um, but I'm going to make make sure you guys get to watch this video and experience this video on your own uh, with through this little uh, video that I've created. And uh, after that, I'll bring you guys back to here and we'll go ahead and react to it. Hi, I'm Ian. I'm Jay, and What's up? Uh, we're here, and we're excited to talk about World of Warcraft, talk about our BlizzCon plans, and the virtual ticket experience. It's been an amazing year for World of Warcraft so far. We just recently released Battle for Azeroth, the seventh expansion of World of Warcraft, and it's been great seeing millions of players around the world jumping in and exploring Kul Tiras and Zandalar, taking the fight to the minions of the Blood God Gahoon in recent weeks, and of course, to each other. Well, in war mode anyway. We also just recently announced Tides of Vengeance, our first major content update to Battle for Azeroth, as the war between the factions kicks into high gear with an all-out raid experience where the faction is clearly the greatest enemy that you have to overcome. As we look forward to BlizzCon, you know, esports has been huge this year. We've got 12 teams coming in for the Arena Grand Finals. We've also seen amazing feedback on the Mythic Dungeon contest that we've held this year. We're really excited to have four teams come and compete for the top honors on, on that contest. And that's for the very first time that's going to feature Battle for Azeroth Dungeons. So yeah, speaking of Mythic Dungeons, a Mythic Dungeon challenge is actually a core part of our BlizzCon floor experience. You and your friends will be able to get in line and take a crack at one of our Mythic Keystone dungeons if you're there at BlizzCon. If you're able to finish the dungeon within the time limit, you'll take home an exclusive BlizzCon collectible with you. Now, don't worry if you don't have a full group of five there no with friends. you at the show. Uh, there's no lack of other interested folks. I think one Good of the great parts tanks of and healers, I'll tell you that, but the fast friends that perform in lines for events finding like them these. Right they'll be, be there to help you out, finding a game of World healer, finding a DPS to round out your group. And once again, if you can beat the dungeon in time, a prize awaits. I want a prize. Now, of course, like with every BlizzCon, this is a, a great time for us. We're excited to share a ton of information about the future of World of Warcraft. We're going to have panels that dig into upcoming Battle for Azeroth content, features, systems changes, as well as some of the philosophies that guide us in our design, and a look behind the scenes at the way we make the game. But we're also oh, here it is. going to be talking a bit about World of Warcraft Classic. Yay! I know a lot of you have been wondering where we're at with that project. Not really. I just want it really. last update. Well, at BlizzCon, we're going to have a whole lot to say. All right, we have a panel digging into the philosophies that have guided us in recreating the classic experience, as well as a lot of the technical challenges. And we and also... A full update on where we stand on the project. We also... And... Yeah. Also really excited to announce that you're going to be able to jump in and try out WoW Classic for yourself. Yeah, you cannot as wait to live stream demo. this, guys. So you can either do the Mythic Dungeon Challenge, or you can get on, play Classic... And you can explore one of a uh, couple one of horde. iconic one zones, alliance. either an iconic Neutral. horde zone, iconic alliance zone. You can Talent. run around slowly on foot, of course. You can plink away and auto-shoot Quillbore or Defias, depending on your preference. Spend a talent point here or there and see where we are with the project. And we can't wait to hear your feedback. Yay. You know, so as we think about BlizzCon, one of the challenges of the show today is the physical space in Anaheim. It can really only support so many people and the number of tickets that we're able to offer sell out very quickly. We also have fans of World of Warcraft and fans of Blizzard all around the world. And so one of the questions that we've asked ourselves is how can the BlizzCon experience evolve? How can we bring it to more players? And this is really sort of the basis of what started and created the virtual ticket. This year, we're adding interactivity and some of our best content yet to the virtual ticket. 
but we want to do more. You know, one of the things we think about for BlizzCon is players who attend the show, they get access to the exclusive demo. And that is something that we have been looking for a while to, to figure out how do we bring to, to additional people. And so, you know, we were very pleased and actually couldn't be more excited to announce that the WoW Classic demo that Ian just talked about will be playable by all holders of the virtual ticket within the comfort of their own homes. You know, our plan right now is for the WoW Classic servers to go live at the conclusion of opening ceremonies on November 2nd, and then everyone will be able to log in who has a virtual ticket. Um, you know, it's, we think it's a great way to experience the, the best of BlizzCon and the best of the World of Warcraft experience right there in your own home. Yay! So yeah, I bet you've got a lot of questions. No. We understand. There are still some things we're trying to figure out on our end as well. This is our first time doing anything like this. But we are confident and we are excited to be able to share this huge part of the BlizzCon experience with all of you enjoying from the comfort of your homes via the virtual ticket. Now, one question that I'm sure many of you have in particular is, well, what if I'm not around that weekend? You make time for this, fam. Well, we want to but, make sure that you can yeah. get a chance to explore yeah. the experience too. So we're going to keep our servers for the classic demo up and accessible through at least November 8th. So if you're not around, or even if you just want to go back and check it out later to try a different class, try a different zone, the WoW demo experience will be there for you. I'll be grinding the hell out of this place. So yeah, it's been, like I said, an amazing year for World of Warcraft, and it's going to be a great BlizzCon coming up. In many ways, the best is yet to come. We're going to have a ton of World of Warcraft information to share with everybody at BlizzCon regarding the future of Battle for Azeroth, the content, systems, and new features there, and an exclusive first look at the WoW Classic experience. Can't wait for you all to join us. Thank you. See you all at BlizzCon. Yay. Right, so that is it. Uh, World of Warcraft Classic is out. No, I'm joking. Um, I've actually already contacted the community manager to see if I could get like that little sneak preview of the World of Warcraft Classic before anyone else. They, they don't even have it ready yet. As you can tell, based off of what they were talking about, they were hoping it would be ready after... Uh, they would. Ho they were hoping to be able to release it right after the uh, the conclusion of the opening ceremony. So I mean, they probably will. They usually don't lie about stuff like that. But um, they don't have it ready yet, so I could not. No one can get early access to it. I mean, probably can, but it's just like it's just almost impossible. So I tried. It's not going to happen. But I will be live streaming it once it is released. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to experience. If you guys don't have a virtual ticket or a BlizzCon ticket, or just want to watch someone else play. For whatever the hell reason, um, just go ahead and uh, subscribe to us now. We will be live streaming every single itty bitty piece of the classic uh, server that we possibly can that is given access to. Um, again, they're going to be uh, zone locked, so you can't go out into the open. You specifically in certain zones, and uh, you'll be able to play as much as possible until it's kind of like a trial of uh, World of Warcraft Classic. So until then, catch you guys around. Peace.